Welcome back to GT7. This is Sly Red. Today we're going to do a tune on the Alfa Romero 155 2.5 V6 Ti, the 1993. We all remember this car from way back in the day in Gran Turismo. Two, three, four, it, it goes through the history. This car is a little speed demon. And it handles so nimbly, it's it's great, because it's all-wheel drive. If you're not a Gran Turismo 7 good racer, I suggest you use this car, because even if you're a bad racer, this car will make you look good. And like the snake on it, if it can get its nose in anywhere, it's passing. It's quick, it's fast. I mean, it's not as fast as the engine swap cars, but for not having an engine swap, this car is quick and nimble. You will like it. Let's go look at the parts. All right, with the special parts, we couldn't buy none. It's a race car, so you expect it. No parts there. I bought the power restrictor and the ballast, but you don't have to because we don't use it. It comes with the fully customizable computer. I bought the medium rpm turbocharger that's the only one available the fully customized lsd uh the racing exhaust i think it comes with it the uh, racing slotted brakes i think it comes with it but if it don't you need to buy it fully customizable suspension Brake balance computer. I bought the fully customizable racing transmission. Uh, we will be tuning on racing soft today, but buy what tires you want. And I bought racing rain today. And good thing I did, because I raced like 20 races in a row with no rain, and today. It decided to rain. The good thing about when it rains is I lapped everybody. So, let's go look at the tune. All right. Like I said, it's four-wheel drive. We have a turbo on it. The performance points are 698.67. We're tuning for 700 pp. The maximum horsepower is 543, which is really good for this little car that doesn't weigh anything. The maximum torque is 255.5. The weight is 24.49, and only the only reason it weighs that much is because I added some weight to it so I could improve the aerodynamics a little. We're tuning on Racing Soft. Fully customized suspension. The body height in the front is 50. In the rear, it's 80. The anti-roll in the front is 10, and in the rear, it's 10 also. The dampening ration... Racial compression is 35 in the front and 35 in the rear. The damping ratio expansion is 45 in the front and 45 in the rear. Natural frequency 3.10 in the front and 3.40 in the rear. 
the negative camera angle, I have 1.5 in the front, 2.0 in the rear. The tow angle is 0, neutral in the front, and 0 0.17 out in the rear. The differential, I have set at 5, 20, and 19. Um, let's change this. 19 because it's four-wheel drive you can go both sides let's change and well, we can't change that aerodynamics we have 150 in the front and 255 in the rear we didn't do nothing to the ECU the output adjustments at 100% we added 101 kilograms to the weight so I could adjust the rear downforce on the aerodynamics and keep it under 700 pp. The power restrictor, we didn't do cut any. It's at 100%. We have the fully racing transmission. I have the top speed set at 310. And I did change all the gears in this one. So make sure your transmission matches my transmission. If you need a closer look, pause the video. You couldn't buy anything because it's a race car. need a closer look at the suspension and the differential you can pause the video but with that I think that's the end you're gonna love this video because like I said the snake that it is the Alfa Romero uses as their emblem if it gets a nose in anywhere it's going through it's going to pass. It's an aggressive car. So if you're an aggressive racer, I am, you're going to go to the front really quick with this car. Um, it's not the quickest down the Mozon straight, because that's where we're going to test. At Le Mans, I think I hit 190. And you stretch the gear out a little more, you might be able to do 195. You don't want to stretch it out too much, so. But if you have any questions about the tune or the suspension on this car, write them down below in the comments. If you'd like to see me tune any car in the game, engine swap or not, write them down in the comments below. And I'll get back to you with a tune. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that, let's go look at this video and how fast this little car is.